Hi everybody, happy 216 everyone! Isn't that exciting? So, I'm here with the daily astrology forecast for January 1st, 216. Very positive influences in the sky today, a lot of positive energy there. The moon is in Libra and it's sextiling Venus and it's trining Mercury and that just brings wonderful things both to our communications, thoughts and ideas and anything connected with Venus that is our relationships, our enjoyment from people around us, our satisfaction, food, drink, aesthetics, beauty, love. All of these aspects, including our communications, are really heightened today. We can say what we mean in a pleasant way and we can enjoy ourselves. This is the perfect day to have that wicked brunch that you've been postponing and really go for it and enjoy it. But, there's a little but, from <clears throat> around 1700 hours Eastern Standard Time or 2400 hours Central European Time, there is a Queen Kong to Neptune and that really means that we shouldn't have martyr-like tendencies within our relationship. We should not forget to cater to ourselves while we are catering to others today and really put ourselves higher on that priority list, on our priority list. Other than that, Mercury, the, planets, the planet of navigation, of our thoughts, of our ideas, of our words, of our information and knowledge is entering Aquarius today. It would be there for a while and then it would go back to Capricorn in its rec retrograde and then it would go back into Aquarius and head on from there. But really, what does this Uranian influence bring to this Mercury? It brings, first of all, fast pace in our act and sorry, in our words and in our thoughts. We'd think faster, we'd speak faster and we are not as stable regarding what we believe and the information we absorb and believe to be true as we were before. There's upgrade, upgrade and a fast pace of upgrade that is coming. It's not so stable. So we really have to keep our mind flexible and our thoughts and our belief system flexible and really allow ourselves and people in our surroundings to change their mind and upgrade their thought process and their understandings of things around us. This um, Uranian influence would allow us to think in innovative ways and think outside the box and really bring new influences and new ideas and new information and new information and disseminate it in our circles, in our social circles, within our tribes, within our elites within uh, our society and it's about us thinking more in a clan manner, in a, in a group manner and finding our own place as individuals within that elite, that group, that uh, society, that social circle. So thank you all for listening and may it be a wonderful 216 and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.